Welcome back everyone to the second episode of Chaos on Kijiji, the show where we look at the absolute worst and most pointless Kijiji ads. These videos are going to be a little bit shorter than my regular videos. That way I can pump a little bit more of these out each week uh, as opposed to writing, you know, a 10 minute so sorry commentary video every single time. I can do these these quick ones. I got two videos coming out this week. One is the one you're currently watching and a brand new So Sorry commentary is coming your way in a couple of days. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be a good one. You're not going to want to miss that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that sub box, hit that no that bell icon. Let's get some new fucking subs on this channel. Get new eyes on my stuff. Let let's get it. Speaking of videos, if you watched my last video here, I posted a mystery bag on Kijiji for people to buy and win. The winner of the bag is a guy named Matt. The only person who actually seriously messaged me about it. So thank you, Matt. So Matt, if you're watching this, the mystery bag is yours. By the way, it is filled with trash. So you get what you pay for, which was nothing. So let's just get into some ads. Uh, a lot of people are renting their trucks and you know what? It's fine. This one's perfectly normal. Uh, I kind of just threw this one in for context. Then there's shit like this men and truck for hire and here's the thing that bothers me about this am i allowed to rent just the truck or do i have is it a package deal also a better question am i allowed to rent just the man because you know where that's going that's a little bit better than the the old truck rental speaking of moving things around we got the absolute fucking sketchiest movers on this planet absolutely positive people will be completely comfortable moving their things around in this fucking dark, black, no windows, just rape van. That's what this is, right? It's just, it just looks like a rape van. Like, I understand that it's a mover, but I would never call this person. This person is selling what looks like winter tires, but they've completely fucked up the name and the, and the wording. I think the word that they're looking for is tire. I like how they put the little emoji up here, though. It's, uh, it really suits the ad. This is my favorite part, though. This is two years old, very good condescension. I feel like they're trying to say condensation. And they ended up just fucking it up entirely. It's Now it's just a condensed tire. Oh shit, now this I can get behind. All right, start growing today. $999, god damn, am I crazy? You crazy with this shit? No, absolutely no way. I'm not growing my own shit. I'm not insane. I don't even have the energy for that kind of stuff, but I honestly saw this ad and I figured, hey, why not throw it in the video, you know? Or a little bit of comedic relief. If there's anything that screams, I stalk my ex-girlfriend and her family in attempts to kill them later, it's hiring a private investigator. This entire thing freaked me the fuck out. I didn't realize Ottawa even had these. I guess, you know, there's insecure people everywhere trying to get info on somebody they don't like, but finding it on Kijiji in the other section just seems so strange. It just, you know, is the guy even licensed when you find something in, a, in an ad like this you gotta think like it was placed in the other folder so it was buried underneath a bunch of other shit that was actually legal at least they have an address though but still fucking sketchy still sketchy all right number one supplier of shipping containers this shit was hilarious to me okay and you know what's funny about this is that it's number one supplier of shipping containers but then in the picture for the ad the goddamn container it's falling off the truck. It's literally touching the ground. It's getting all scraped. Whatever is in here is gonna fucking pop out and fly everywhere. Maybe this, the shipping containers are good, but the business itself is just trash. This is probably a picture right in the middle of a fucking accident. Someone just knocked this shit over and it just fell all over the ground. And this is them saying, hey, we're the best at this. You know, at least we only knock over one shipping container a week or one a month. Now this, I can get behind. This I can get behind. A goddamn flashlight taser? Oh my god. I mean, you know it's gonna be fucking awesome. It doesn't even have to have the taser, just the effect on it. Like, that shit looks amazing. Oh, hell yeah, there's the flashlight. Yeah, turn that taser on. Yeah, boy, let's get it! Ooh! Shit! Damn! What the fuck? Oh, that's legit as fuck. You know you want one of those. You know you want one of those. I'm looking at the wrong side of the camera. All right, we got a couple more and then we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, this one is the fucking weirdest one so far that I've seen today. The Love Spell. This one is fantastic and I wish I had seen more of these because I, would, I could do a whole video just on this shit. 
All right, so it's basically just some like va like pagan witchcraft shit, but basically the idea is that she's native, so she has magic powers apparently because according to this ad, all native people are are somehow magic. She's been practicing practicing sorcery for more than 30 years. Dude, you ever wonder if she like even like has she accomplished anything? Like what do you think her biggest biggest pagan accomplishment is? Like she maybe like moved a fork with her mind? Is that pagan? Like how does that I don't think that's the same thing. I'm probably wrong. Anyways, so basically she's saying in this ad that she can help you find love. And I'm all for that. Find me some love. Because who the fuck doesn't want to find love, honestly? But I I guarantee you this is a scam. Um, but if it's not, fucking right, right? And it would not be a so sorry on Kijiji if we did not find an ad filled with three ring binders. Because you know how it is around here? That's the bread and butter of this show. We look at goddamn three ring binders and all kinds of shit. So anyways, I'm going to send this quick email off and uh, get some more fucking binders. By the end of this series, I'm going to have like an entire goddamn warehouse full of fucking binders. I haven't bought any. But I really do want to buy a shitload of them just for the sake of this series. Alright, so we've seen some stupid truck shit. We've seen bad spelling. We've seen love spells. We've seen three ring binders. We've seen bad shipping containers. So that's it. This has been uh, Chaos on Kijiji for this week. The episodes of this show will be coming out weekly. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. If you're new, remember to slap a like on that and hit the subscribe button. If you're... Uh, a subscriber from before comment leave a like show this shit to your friends new creator with an already dead channel all right thank you guys so much i'll see you all in the next video this so sorry commentary that's coming out this week is about weird animals i was gonna leave it as a teaser but i figured i'd just fucking tell you guys anyways i'll see you guys next time peace out